social media keeps people connected all across the world. For your Facebook Friday story, you wanted to know how it helps local law enforcement. TV6's Jennifer Perez joins us now. She's been looking into that topic with more. Jennifer? Well, Sophie, more and more police departments are setting up Facebook pages and Twitter accounts using social media has become an important part in solving crimes. The Escanaba Public Safety Department started using Facebook in 2013, and it's become one of their greatest tools in gathering tips on suspects. People with active arrest warrants will post pictures on our Facebook page. Um, we often release information on different crimes, hoping to develop a list of suspects. By posting pictures and videos of suspects on Facebook, they're able to reach a larger number of people, some who may be able to identify the person. I, I think we do get more messages. Um, like I said, you know, when people actually have to call and talk to somebody, it kind of dissuades them from doing it. When they can write, when they can write something and send it, I think they, they have a greater feeling of anim, an, anonymity. On Facebook, Brooke writes, I used social media to catch the person that rammed into my car and took off. State cops were impressed. The Marquette Police Department has also been successful in solving crimes. Within the last couple of weeks, they've been able to identify suspects for four out of five cases they've posted. We threw out a couple of smaller cases, and then we found we were getting just as much feedback on the smaller cases as the larger cases, if not more. Um, so yeah, we start, so lately we've started throwing out what would be uh, misdemeanor type offenses as well. If you do have any information regarding Facebook postings by local police departments, you're asked to send them in a message and avoid commenting on the initial post.